hello this is Jigal and today I will show you how a finger of 88,000 years old shows us that it is totally useless to be in denial about ancient dating. About results of dating, datation showing an age much older than we thought. This finger that was found in Saudi Arabia in Al Wusta area will change history. Paleontologist Iyad Selmut and the team of the Saudi Arabia survey, uh, geological survey team, found this finger in Al Wusta area in the Nefut. This place is an ancient place of lakes, rivers, and 90,000 years ago it was a very green area with a lot of rivers, a lot of small lakes, but now it's very, very arid. Hugh Grocott of Oxford University and Michael Petrolia of the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History analyzed the bone. The finger went to the University of Cambridge where specialists made 3D scans comparing with the bones of several archaic humans and non-human primates. Like Zelmut, Cambridge researchers concluded that the fossil an adult major finger belonged to a Homo sapiens. The finger, along with other samples found at Al Wusta site, was sent to the National Australian University in Canberra, where scientists have used several dating techniques to date on the sample, such as a uranium series dating for which laser makes microscopic holes in the fossil to measure the relationship between traces of radioactive elements. The finger, say Australian researchers, is 88,000 years old. The results of this study have been published in Nature, Ecology and Evolution. This makes it the oldest and most dated Homo sapiens fossil found outside Africa and the Levant. And here, the word directly dated is one of crucial importance. What makes this new study exciting is that it is the first direct evidence of early modern humans who have ventured out of Africa and the Levant and off the coast inland. In addition, he states that the migration to Eurasia have developed more and earlier than expected and are much more complex than previously thought. Homo sapiens migrated out of Africa several times in the last 100,000 years. This finger belongs well to the hominids, so to our direct ancestors. One more proof that Homo sapiens is much older than it was said. The discovery of this fossilized bone is a dream come true, Michael Petrolia said at a press conference. And that's consistent with the arguments our team has been making for more than 10 years, he tells us. Despite the extensive scientific evidence, some scientists still disagree and the battle is raging, what is not surprising, considering the politicization of the subject for some. On the other hand, we also found on the site about 380 stone tools suggesting that a group of humans from dozens of people have lived on this site, what is being studied. Dr. Eleanor Sherry, who specialized in tool technology, in particular stone and its relationship to the environment and human behavior in the context of human origins and early dispersion of our species. Michael Petrelia of the Max Planck Institute said that they uh, found 10,000 
ancient lakes in Arabia. Yes, 10,000. And they visited 200. And there are 80% of these lakes that are with archaeological evidences. So you see that we are just at the start, at the beginning, of fabulous discoveries as well in Arabia as well in Egypt if you saw my latest videos about the datation of prehistoric sites in Egypt you understand that we are at the point to get a lot of fabulous discoveries about datation in a relation with Homo sapiens and uh, the migration of our ancestors so it is fabulous just uh, subscribe to this uh, youtube channel and we will see what happened very soon thank you